we have a very special opportunity today on Island Focus to meet Sharon Moriwaki, who is the senator in the Hawaii State Legislature. Thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you for having me. This Good is a here. very different role than I know you at the university. Certainly different. <laughs> uh, at the university, you know, I was with the Public Policy Center. We worked together. It was great times. And you have a policy role, you have an advocacy role, an education role. On this side of the table, uh, you've got to listen to everybody <laughs> and try to gauge, you know, uh, what's right. It's very difficult because everybody has a good case. Well, so in my experience different. of working with you at the university is that you are a very good listener. Perhaps some of the challenge, you know, in this different role is that I'm not sure people always tell us the truth. So how do you decipher what is truth and what is in the best interest of other people and what is self-serving? I think that's a good question. Um, you never really know the truth. I mean, everybody has their own truth when they come to you. It is really, really passionate and they feel this is it. Uh, but I think part of it is looking at kind of where all the voices are coming from mm. and, and being able to judge, okay, what is in the best interest of most people? So it, everybody has a truth. I, I think even in the short-term rentals that have been a problem for my district recently is everybody has a truth. Everybody feels really, this is really important. It's my livelihood. And, and so you've got to be able to sort of raise it to another level, I guess, in terms of what, what is best for the, our larger community. Yes, and, and along those lines, you know, some of the work that you've done in the past too is bringing communities together to have those conversations and think beyond oneself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you doing that now? Because once your title changes, <laughs> the persona in people's minds change too. You know, that, that's an interesting question because it, it still hasn't changed for me. Right. I mean, I think you, you probably grow into it, maybe. Uh, but for me, I, I think I still am a community person. Mm -hmm. So my job, I feel I work for the community that elected me. They pay my salary, basically. So I listen to them, but, but also educate because there are issues that are broader than our little community. It, it really does, for short term, it, it, it expands across the county, across the state. So part of it is listening and hearing what are the, the mutual interests? What are, where, where is their consensus? Um, because, and ha helping them see also how they yeah. are related. Yeah, and that's the challenge because when you have your own um, interest in mind and you're really hurting, um, you can't see beyond yourself. Right, so, right. Yeah. One of the things I appreciated when I was in the ledge as well um, is the opportunity to travel and see other places and see what, what happens in other places policy-wise. Have you been to a place lately that has impressed you or depressed you? <laughs> Interesting you should ask. We just got back from Singapore. Mm. Um, I'm on the housing committee uh, in the Senate. And one of the major issues is housing, affordable housing for mm -hmm. our residents. And mm -hmm. we've been grappling with that. We have the, the cost of housing and, and the need for housing. So the demand far outweighs the, the supply uh, that we the, have. Yeah, the right? supply, yeah. So uh, one of the, the areas, Singapore, uh, was touted as having uh, public housing. Public housing without stigma. So about 90% of the population lives, resident population, uh, lives in uh, public housing. And there um, you can see what difference long range planning, you know, we talk about that all the time, <laughs> long range planning, integrated planning, comprehensive planning, and implementation not, you know, oh, okay, I want this piece right. or that piece. or um, And and it's it works, <laughs> you know, and it's a meritocracy. I mean, it's, it's also, I mean, some things aren't translatable like it is a um, dictatorship, <laughs> um, but, but it's a bene beneficent. <laughs> ben beneficent. And so you see that the focus is always on the people. How right. do we get more housing? How do we make it affordable? And, um, and you can see what, everybody working together can really accomplish. So, um, yes, and my impression of Singapore really is that it's, it's a place that works and it is about people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in closing our co short conversation for today, <laughs> what's a message you'd like the public to hear? 
You know, I, I go back to the short-term rentals and, and how it's, it's, it's permeated because they're illegals and people are making money and, and, and it's really tough to enforce. But I have to applaud this, the city council. They, they do have two strong enforcement bills. But it didn't come about until residents stood up. Hmm. They got more engaged. They really went out to, to talk to their neighbors and they didn't realize all of their neighbors had the same problem they mm -hmm. did. People were encroaching into their neighborhoods that were supposed to be their quiet neighborhoods. Uh, and, and I think that's the message is all of us work for you. Call your council member, call your senator, call your legislators, um, and, and make sure that they know the problems and that they do something to help you. So I think that's really, really important for them to step up to be more aware and involved. And what you just said also is work together with each other. And work okay. together. Thank you so much for the time and good luck to you. Oh, thank <laughs> Enjoy you. your, thank you your so new much. profession. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful thank talking you. to you. Thank you. Thank you too for tuning into Island Focus and my conversation with Senator Sharon Morawaki of the Hawaii Legislature. Aloha. <laughs>